Now your profile picture is possibly the most important part of getting online dating right, as it really is your shop window. So how do you do it? Joanna is a photographic expert. I think the best thing to do is to try and think about what you want to portray about yourself, um, what would show your personality or your unique um, aspects to your personality. Um, So, you know, if you like to, if you're a more kind of outdoors type person, then to to take a photograph of yourself outdoors, if you're perhaps, um, you know, could show your interests or just just to bring bring your personality to life through the photograph. Is it a good idea to sort of have it straight on or at an angle? I think it's really frustrating when you're obviously looking to see somebody in a photograph and it's quite difficult to to see them properly. So I would say that it's always good to try and um, show your face really clearly. Um, But also, um, you know, that doesn't have to be sort of a straight on shot looking straight into the camera because sometimes that can look a bit weird and look a little bit like a passport photo. So it's better just to to, to ensure that you can be seen fully in the photograph, but, you know, to, to, sh- to show yourself in a sort of natural light. And, and what about lighting? Is that, is that important? Do you need to sort of pay attention to that? Well, lighting is always important in photography. It's probably the most important thing in photography to get the lighting right. But lighting can have some really great effects as well. So, you know, think about your lighting in terms of, you know, making sure that you're not sort of very... Um, illuminated by light so that it looks a bit weird like a like a passport photograph which is a very flat light but you can um, you can use lighting to 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 help in invoke a mood in a photography so perhaps you know think about lighting you know coming from a side angle or lighting coming from um sort of if you imagine a clock face lighting coming from sort of about one o'clock rather than lighting coming straight on, and definitely try and avoid shooting directly into light because that um, that doesn't always um, create a great photograph. And what about black and white? Would that be a good idea? Quite arty? Yeah, I think so. Black and white photography is very trendy and um, and it has that sort of reportage feel to it. Um, I mean, black and white photography is also um, quite quite good at getting sort of clarity of, uh, of an image. So, again, you know, if you're trying to convey yourself and, and to show yourself um, clearly, then black and white photography is good. It's not always easy to take black and white photographs, though. So, um, you know, perhaps you could take your photograph in full colour and then, you know, there's loads of um, Photoshop programs and programs on um, iPad apps and things like that that you can change the... Um, you could then change your photograph to black and white and just sort of play around a bit, really. And they say the camera never lies. Is that true? That's not true at all because you can do so many Photoshop <laughs> tricks with a cam with with um, an image. Now, I mean, you can you know you you know from all the things that you can you know the apps that you can use, you can fundamentally change photographs quite easily, and you can make fake photographs very easily. So. I'm afraid that isn't a true statement at all. Um, But, you know, obviously photography is a great way of showing, you know, you you and your personality. And, um, you know, I think just try and get across a sense of who you are in in the photograph. And, you know, that, that that will always be to your advantage. The Dating Show, brought to you by OlderDatingOnline.com. 